All right, YouTube, this is Dylan Hubby here. We're going to be playing some modern Infect today. Friend plays this deck, so I'm excited to give it a whirl. Wait for Moto to get going here. And we'll put the deck list up here. Just show this for a second. This is the exact same list that my friend played, Thomas Berry played to an IQ championship last month at uh last month. So this is what we're gonna be playing today. Run it through a league. Maybe two leagues, depending on how fast they go. But I do like playing this deck. I've had a good time. So let's give this a whirl here. Competitive Modern, join league. 3 2 with this deck, the first league I ran it through. And I think that I would have 4 one had I sequenced properly. Which was clearly just my fault. Deck up here. Yeah, this is the exact list that my buddy played. He likes the J. He said he liked the Jaces a lot. I saw some lists don't play. They play Spell Sky in the main deck, but it's probably just a meta game call. Like whatever, whatever you think you're gonna play against, this is what you should. Like I'd assume if you think there's more Fatal Push decks, then you're gonna want. The um, the spell skites in the main deck, but if you if they're they're not going to answer your planeswalker, your jace, and just flips like it's an alternative wing con, which is kind of cool. So, so I don't know. I'm pretty excited to give it a whirl here. I know that I was really happy with it when I played when I played this deck, running it through like just no experience at all, ran it through dry like. I was pretty happy with the Jaces. And like I said, the first league I went to, I went 3-2. I lost to Burn and Jund. And I think, I don't think I can ever beat Jund, but I do think that I was like a sequencing um, mistake away from beating Burn. So. So we'll lead off here. All right, so I think I got a mulligan in this hand as I don't have an infect creature. If I, have, if I draw a creature, this hand is very good, but I think it's difficult for this hand deck to keep. I mean, we've only got 12. I can only go like one draw step probably because I'm playing Noble Hierarch on one. So I've only got 12 out of 53 cards to hit a to hit like an infect creature. And then my, my draw kind of falls apart if I don't. So I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna roll this. And again, we'll keep this. Um I might, I'm going to see what's on top. There's a land that I'm not going to play my guy on to. I think I'm going to put this on the bottom. And I think I'm going to run this out because there tends to be, like, if I'm playing against an unfair matchup, then I'm going to get rewarded for having this Glistener Elf in play. If I'm playing against a fair matchup, um, I can just thought seize it out of my hand if I don't. Play it. I guess I should turn off auto yields just in case I want a mutagenic growth. See, it's black. That's probably not good. Funeral charm. It's plus two. So now, so we're playing against the rack. So that was, that worked out okay. Yeah, we racking. All right, so now we're in pretty good shape. So I think we just.
I probably just blossoming defense this and mutagenic growth it right now because I'm not going to have very many cards in my hand. Like, I would like if he goes like dot sees next turn. I think I'm just going to like go kind of nuts with this this turn. So attack. I'll just get in for five, and then this vines is lethal next turn. My opponent's hand something like um something like lots of racks, then, you know, now any four power pump spell off the top wins us the game. Because I would assume this vines is gone. Like, they're either going to have a removal spell or it's going to get discarded. They go discard spell into removal spell, then I'm probably in a lot of trouble. But, mutable, okay. Dismember this. If my opponent... Okay. Hopefully this isn't a fatal push. Yeah, it's a fatal push. Alright, so now I'm in some trouble. Now I need like a, a WAN to get me there. So pass... Leave this up for Dryad Arbor. I'm going to play the Shrieking Eviction. I probably should have left that in my hand because of that. Yeah, we'll pass auto pass through here. Oh, there's an elf. All right. This gives us a chance. They go sack here. We go get dry at Arbor. Now we need just become immense vines. With a lot of draws that do it. That does not do it though. Yeah, so they got us. That was rough. We needed just a pump spell. And maybe I should have been more passive on two, but they can just attack me like so many different ways that it's just, you know, it's not very good. So I want the Spell Skites in. Um, don't want the Distortion Strike. Probably don't need... I wonder if I choose to draw or not. I definitely think I want Nature's Claims. Maybe I want Viridian Corruptors, just more creatures. Probably don't need to become immense in case my opponent's got like graveyard hate. Pulse is probably fine. The Jaces are fine since it's an alternative win condition and filters my draws. And then which one of these is the worst? I would assume Groundswell is probably the worst pump spell. I think. But now I gotta figure out like I don't think I want Shaper's Sanctuary because they don't actually have a lot of removal. I think I just want to play more creatures, and I think I'm gonna elect to play. Most of the time you're supposed to draw against this deck, but I think it's just what much better for me to be on the play. I would like to play first. All right, I will keep this. And I'm actually going to lead off on the Ink Moth Nexus on one. Might not attack with it, but... Opponent Mulligan's a six. Which isn't that bad from their deck, because they have so many... Like, their entire deck's, like, incredibly redundant. They don't need specific things to win. This hand's pretty good, I think. Like I think the Pendle Haven is going to be pretty big in this matchup because it's going to allow me to get like free pump while holding up. And my hand's very redundant. It's pretty Thoughtseize proof. 
So they probably take Blossoming Defense as opposed to Apostle's Blessing. Yeah. And I could play this Spell Sky right now. I guess it doesn't really change the math because then it lets me get in for two damage next turn because I can Pendlehaven. Hostile Desert. So they did bring in a piece of Graveyard Hate. So I want to attack or develop. I think that I want to just develop a little bit more. And I'll leave this Pendlehaven up. Glad I cut my recumbences. And then I probably am not going to play any more lands because I'd like to have those in my hand. Spell Sky's Spell pretty sick at the moment. I'm going to be more aggressive protecting my Ink Moth Nexus, I think. Well, no, I'm going to be more aggressive protecting my Blighted Agent. So my opponent doesn't have any plays. The Spell Sky also just shuts down Funeral Charm, which is sweet. Alright, so I am actually going to play this. Let me just fetch my basic. Because this allows me to go Animate, Pump 1, and Attack. And have like a Protection Spell up. The Spell Sky also shuts off Funeral Charm, which is pretty sweet. Um, probably gonna go for this because I would rather if I'd rather fight over this creature than this creature because this one costs mana to activate, and it's also I guess it's also better against. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should have kept up there, but I still have two forms of protection up, and I think I'm going to keep my spell sky around. This pro black because they're not gonna they're not gonna present like very many blockers so double hostile desert okay so four I'm pretty sure my opponent's dead. Let me fetch, because this is four, five, six, seven, four, one, two, three, seven, yeah, through double protection. Got to kill two things. Yeah. Spell Skype was good there. So I wonder if I should bring in the Shaper Sanctuaries. Probably don't need this. This is to keep this dismember was bad. I'm going to keep in one of these because we saw the protection was just that good. And I probably can cut like some form of mutagenic growth because mutagenic growth is really there to like pump up the um, become immenses. So you know if, if we're like getting we're we're away from become immense. Um, sorry, puzzles. One, two, three, four, five. Did I cut a blossoming defense. There's only three blossoming defenses in here. Tom, you savage. You absolute savage. One, two, three, four, five. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one pump spells. That's probably fine. We keep the Jaces in. I don't know what this means. Yeah, we'll keep this. And it's pretty redundant. We don't have any. Um, we don't have any creatures to pair with this, but I am going to lead off on on Glistener Elf. We don't have any defense spells, I mean. But we have two threats. Our opponent's mulliganing. We're going to save one of these Dryad Arbors for Liliana's. Something that confuses me about this deck is that, like, it always wants to draw, but you've got Liliana's. You know, and Liliana is just, like, miles better on the play than it is on the draw. So maybe it's a weird card to have. Okay. Um... Play this, and I'll play, I guess I'll play Breeding Pool untapped. Do a little gamesmanship here, and I can just snipe a rack if they have one. And if they have like a Funeral Charm, this saves it. And then we're going to hold this Verdant Catacombs up to deal with a Liliana. I feel like I, I feel like I have a lot of inevitability in this matchup. As long as I don't get um, like Liliana out of the game, because it, it just takes so many, like such few attack steps. Noble Hierarch would be a pretty good draw. Take a bloody agent. Okay. Okay. Don't have like land Liliana. Land Liliana would be bad. I don't think I'm getting a basic. I don't think we're on the dry arbor plan yet. Guess I'll wait on that. Not give my opponent the information. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be on the on the um, whatever it is, plan then the dry art plan for giving them four life. Gonna hold all these just to insulate us against the rack or something. This probably means like Liliana. Okay, so now I am gonna go get dry art armor so that if I hit a plus four, I can kill this. Attack Liliana. And then I'll play this.
Now, my opponent knows about this Apostle's Blessing, but they don't know about the last card in my hand. We're attacking on two fronts. We're pretty much like Infect. We're pretty much like uh, Affinity. We're going to go regular damage, or we're going to go... Infect damage. So now we beat whatever my opponent tries to do here to get rid of this. Pretty good draw. Now, do I leave back? I think I attack my opponent, play Jace, and leave this back to Apostles Blessing this. I guess I should attack Liliana. And then I'll be okay getting rid of whatever creature. Like if my opponent edicts. What is this? Oh shit. Oh, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a color. Oh, we're gonna get owned by this thing. Oh, this is bad. I've not played against this in the old modern land yet. Oh, that's not good. Because it's not, there's no color associated with it, so I couldn't even. Jeez. Yeah, we got owned on that. I just forgot how cheap this was. Which is my fault. You know, I got just like, you know, wide open Puntaruskis there. And now they just get everything. And the Liliana lives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we're just like under the heel of this Liliana for the rest of the game. Yeah, I tossed this. This hostile desert's sweet, though. Oh, just gain a drain. Okay. And they tick up. I need like an ink moth. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're going to move on to the next game. We're not going to lose this slow, drawn out battle. That one was my fault. 100%. Just like ran face first in the hostile desert. And I think we could have won that game if we hadn't lost the hostile desert right there. Because we'd have had. I guess them having smallpox and smallpox and Liliana would have been quite a beating because they would have got my they would have for sure gotten my uh, what would they have gotten they for sure would have been able to take care of my one of my creatures with smallpox another creature with the Liliana. And then still kept the Liliana around, but I would have had a creature. So I probably could have maybe dug my way out of there. But, yeah, that was my fault, though. Would have been sweet to see if that game would have came to a conclusion, though. Yeah, this thing is very good. We're on the draw, which kind of sucks.
but opponent Mulligans, which is good for the home team. What do you got, sir? Island. Serum Visions. Okay. And they went top bottom. I guess I'm gonna fetch a basic now. Play this elf. We have like pseudo defense. I hope we're playing against something like blue white control. Okay, cycle street race. So we're playing a death shadow. Death shadow deck. Don't kill this. Okay. Sad. All right. So I think I'm going to run out the Blighted Agent because we drew the Ink Moth. It would have been a little more, I guess, defensive about the Blighted Agent. And our hand's very redundant. We actually kill our person. Our person has to take, they have to take binds. Yeah. So we find any pump spell we got it. Landfall, four, got him, missequenced that, but didn't really matter, should have let off with my, I guess I should have let off probably with the blossoming defense there, but like, my opponent, the only card they could have is like Slaughter Pact, and they die of their own pact. Bring in all of this. Bring in everything for a grindy game. Probably cut. They're going to have Graveyard Hate, so I'll be cut. I'll cut. Become Immense. Probably want these discard spells. Um, I want all the protection spells. I think Groundswell's. Probably the worst one here. I'll cut a fetch land because I'll be on the draw. It's some. It's we're playing some infect, my friend. This is a uh, Tom's deck. I guess that what's worse is groundswell worse. I mean, is whatever it is is might worse than groundswell. I'm gonna say that might's worse than groundswell. Probably want this dispel too, so maybe I'll cut another ground swell. This is awesome, this Nathan. This isn't this isn't nonsense. Alright, so I think I'm gonna keep this hand. There's not an infector, but we have two, we have like a bunch of protection and some free pump, and this can find us a dryad arbor if our opponent gets a little frisky. They're getting you know, a little bit ahead of themselves. They take the Shaper Sanctuary. Dispels a good draw. It's a little unfortunate. I'm going to fetch this now. Just get Breeding Pool. Play this Elf. They don't know about this Dispel, so this Dispel is going to be pretty good. Let that go. Hopefully this isn't a Liliana or an Angler. I'd love to draw the land next turn so that I can get Pyroplasm. Pump. So they're just trading Pyroplasm for Mutagenic Growth. Now I think I want to just play this other Glistener Elf. 
or do I want to establish spell skite? I'm gonna play the other elf. Leave up. Because I really don't want to get destroyed by a Kologon's command. And this is gonna defend me against K command, like having this dispel up. The mutagenic still growth still does, but So you're going to play on my upkeep? Okay. Start off by getting in with both. We're going to Snapcaster a little bit, but we can growth to get past the Snapcaster, and we can just dispel this. And Stubbs not live, and we can fight again. I'm gonna dispel this because vines can is, is like dispel plus other stuff. Is it Death Shadow time from the opponent? That's bad. So they eat one of these. We still get to trade. We'd love to draw land. It's not quite a land. But I think I'm going to play Spellskite this turn. Though so playing the Spellskite. Does though I think they would have fatal push last turn if they had it. So okay, spells got into play. And this like not get K commanded one time. My hand is redundant. Probably takes Apostle's blessing. Okay, I'm wrong. Don't K command me. K commands bad news bears. Yeah, this is what exactly what this is. Oh, he's returning Snapcaster Mage. Not just shocking. All right. Pretty good draw. I don't think there's any way that Snapcaster Mage doesn't get two cards out of us next turn. Because like if they block, then I have to like Apostles Blessing to not let them block. We're definitely live for I know they have Snapcaster. If we draw fetch land, it might be it might be a dryad over time. Maybe just maybe. See a vision shirt. Okay, so Snapcaster and they went bottom top. Wish I had a couple more lands, but I did board out of land, so. We'll just pass. Conveniently, our opponent doesn't get two cards out of us. That's a pretty good draw. It's going to let us play this Blighted Agent. So 
So at least those snapcasts are age. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think we can beat this card. Yeah, that that's that thing's gonna kill us. I pretty much have to like kill my opponent this turn, probably. That's probably impossible now. Because now they have Snapcaster. They kill all the Pyroclasm. And then they've got this here. Yeah, we'll just pass. I mean, we are a plus four, plus four away from killing our opponent. That's not bad either. That was an anti roam, my friend. Come on, let my J slip. One time. What a jerk. Oscar. Oh, come on. I'm going to play that, because if my opponent gets a little too frisky, I might go for the, uh, go for the, the Dryad Arbor plan. Oh, that's such an anti, it's an anti roan right there. Keep it in the hand. Keep this Glistener Elf in my hand for, like, K-Command fodder. There it is. All right. So I probably just blocked this with one of these, to tell you the truth. My opponent taps this. No, 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 I did this wrong. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't, I didn't time that right. Oh, gross. Yeah, just mistimed it there. So now, that was bad. So now we're going to fetch for Dry and Arbor, and we're going to hope we draw the, we draw that, uh, draw what we need here. Yeah, they got me. Oh, that was bad. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Keep it the same. Maybe I want like these Viridian Corruptors just because they're too power. They're more redundant. Yeah, that was not good, Cat. That was not good at all. I kind of just want more creatures and less pump spells. Yeah, look like this. We'll try to see if we can get as many creatures in our deck as possible. And I'm going to lead off with the Shaper Sanctuary. I can probably go like... I'll probably take Spellskite, if I had to assume. I think I'm going to go Noble Hierarch Inkbot Nexus next turn. 
It's like, I think this version is like 300 tickets. Which isn't really that bad. Flip Chase makes it a little more expensive. So we're going to start like this. Just get ahead on mana. And then look to play. You know, we know my opponent's got um, whatever it is in their deck. They got Pyroclasm. So what beats this hand is a quick Death Shadow. I'm trying to play all of them, Cadillac. Um, I, I mainly are Chadillac. Chadillac. I'm, I'm, I'm normally, like, my serious modern deck's probably Five Color Death Shadow. But I've got a whole bunch of them set up here for the next, I don't know, four or five streams. Plus, probably going to play some standard. I hit a land, that would be nice. Because then I can attack with Ink Mafia. That's sweet. And then I think I'm just going to play this Ink Moth and Pass. They're not going to ban energy on Monday, I don't think, at least. So let me go. Yes. I think we're going to fight over this. Yeah, I doubt. I don't think they'll ban energy. A Liliana last hub's gonna get pretty annoying. I don't think they're going to like. They're gonna look to give give this set a chance, and then they'll like think about it. Like, it's not like energy is poisonous to gameplay. All right, that is annoying. I think I'm just going to go get in for two. I play as I'm coming through time, Black Red Hollow One. The Hollow One deck is not on deck, but after that. That's definitely not just because of this block. Like, that's more or less, in my opinion, because of last block. And, like, the, the confidence still hasn't gotten back in the consumers, and they easily could see something else get banned. So you have to get the confidence back. And energy is good gameplay. Like, the games are fun. The games are not degenerate. Like, all right, so let's play this first. And I'll, I'll, I'll take two here. Didn't even, I guess they didn't want to give me a card. That's annoying. Draw land. I guess I can play Viridian Corruptor.
And I'm going to try to pull some Rasa back this spell sky. That probably means they've got another removal spell. Because that seems like they could, they seem like they could discard much worse things. I think if they ban this is gonna get annoying. Really want to land. I want to play Shadow Ninja, but it's way yeah, it's pretty expensive. You've definitely got that right. This does kind of suck if my opponent's got like a K command. I'm gonna edict, probably get rid of this Viridian Corruptor. I need to find one of my dismembers. Discard a card, two damage to me. I need like a Gideon emblem. So then they'll probably just trade here. I guess I should be running my creatures out because my creatures just turn into cards. So. That's pretty good for the home team. And then we're just we're gonna ignore this Liliana. And then attack our opponent. You talking about playing Death Shadow? Or are you talking about playing Infect? If you're playing Death Shadow, it's Abzan, Blue White, and Death and Taxes. So let's think. I can get in with one. So my opponent's got my opponent has two as as any way they'll damage themselves, they can get me here. So one, two, three. Maybe that's right not to attack with anything. Because if I attack with one, then I'm dead to the Liliana in any way for them to do damage to themselves. I'm going to play this guy out. And figure out what I'm going to do next. It's also warrant to terminate. Okay. Probably gonna chump the shadow to tell you the truth. Because it's gonna like take a lot of time off my clock. And I'll chump it with this. I think I'm gonna sack. Oh, this gets me K commanded out of the game. Yeah, it does. Yes. Oh, I should have sat stupid. Oh, I'm playing too fast. I should have just gone pro black, 
Sack this, block this. God, that was stupid. And then I should have sacked this. Oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Should I just pro black that? Gosh. Well, we might get bailed out of it. We definitely don't deserve to win this, yep. Yeah, I taught, I threw that game six ways a Sunday and we have bailed out. So oh, I was gonna do a plug, but yeah, that was that was dumb. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. Probably lead off on basic forest. And then get Noble Hierarch into play. I need to just like play a little slower. I guess I'm a little worried about my time frame because I have to work tonight, so I want to get like this league done. But I think I'm gonna have plenty of time. Excuse me. We have the hiccups. Yeah, I'm one follower away from 700, which is pretty awesome. I guess I can do a plug. I guess I'll just, uh, I forgot my second monitor thing at home, so I don't work playing now. Probably should have done the windswept teeth, because like all green white decks play windswept teeth. And like this might tip my opponent off to something. Well, wow, Shaper Sanctuary was awesome. This, this goes unattested. Play two creatures next turn. If they kill it, I'll probably play... Oh, Mono White. Playing against Death and Taxes. I think we can afford to slow down. Well, actually, we're just gonna like over. We're just gonna go pedal the metal against like a deck with against basic planes. I think we're pretty good. Like the only the only deck that I think that we get punished with is like blue white control. The next time we attack for two, three, seven, we could kill them next turn. Actually, we can't. Because vines cost three mana. Oh, I should toss my music on. I forgot to do that all the whole stream. Excuse my non second monitor. Today I left the connector at work. All right, that makes me a little more nervous about my life decisions. One. Let me think here. Eight, ten, four mana. So eight, two, four, six, ten blossoming defense up. Yeah, we're going for it. Wait, do I have to do this? I didn't play a land this turn. No, I did. 
I did because it gave me landfall for this. It's my third turn. So we go like this. It took me a hot second there, distortion, but I think I think we're pretty I think we've got lethal plus defense here. Let me put this music on. Okay, so what do we have now? So I guess I just go three and then try again next turn with two interacting spells up. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, and the gate was gross. But we can try this again next turn. If my opponent taps out for like a Gideon or something, I still think I get him because I can just Blossoming Defense, then four plus six. So it is a Field of Ruin. So I still think I'm good now. Four, six. The Vines resolves. Then I've got it. Oh, number 700. Distortion, right? Distort distortion, you're follower number 700, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Blue eye control seems like a buy. So, two, one, two. So I need to find one more point here. I guess I could have let that happen because the exalted. can die of their own slaughter pact. Had a blighted agent coming. Alright, so spell pierce is probably good. Dispel is probably good. Viridian Corruptor. Pull some Ross is fine. Probably Viridian Corruptor is fine too. I'm not as high on the protection. Because Lantern costs 518 tickets, and that's outside of my budget. I'm not super wild about the protection spells here, to tell you the truth. Like, I think that they're going to fight me more on the... They're probably going to have... They're, they're probably fight me more on the whatever it is access. The... Um... Uh, it's over the budget overall. I think they're going to try to fight me on the sweeper aspect. So I'm not sure that I really want these protection spells. I think Vines is okay. It's, well, I think Might, Might and Groundswell are fine. They're one mana plus four plus four. I, don't really, I really don't think I want these. Nature's Claim hits Rest in Peace, which only hits Become Immense. So maybe I can board out like I probably can board out this dismember. I probably can cut like a become immense. I don't really know if I want Shaper's Sanctuary. Shaper's Sanctuary. It's not. They're not going to have very much targeted removal. And I kind of want all of my like plus four plus fours. I still have four protection spells. I've got some counter spells. 
The Jace is probably fine. Especially if I flip it. Yeah, I think this is what I want to do. Maybe I can just like, maybe the vines are better than become immenses. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't think my opponent, it might not be right for my opponent to bring in rest in peace, but. All right, I think I'm gonna ship this hand. I'm definitely gonna ship this hand. If we had a green, if we had a green source, I'd keep it. The old no land heater. At least our opponent's obliging us. All right. Hand is gas. Put this on top. We actually can kill them before they get to Supreme Verdict mana, which is like noteworthy. And I want to be able to flip this Jace quickly so that if my opponent does Supreme Verdict me, that they don't hit this Jace, and the Jace can be another way for me to win the game. So I'm probably just going to attack, then cast this Jace. I don't really want to get this in play because I could get detention sphered. Let me think. One, five, seven, eight. They'd be at one, one more infect. So then I kill them if they have no interaction, but the odds of that aren't good. I think I'm going to play Jace. Hopefully I don't get spell snared. We try like blasting defense. I even can flip Jace. Like if I draw blasting defense, I can go like. What can I do? I can like. Okay. I guess we're not killing them next turn, so don't have to worry about it. This is a Gideon that's going to be kind of annoying because, like, it's going to take pump spells to kill Gideon. See, vision's okay. Yeah, Gideon's got to be just gas in this matchup because, like, I have to use a lot of resources to kill it. Okay, Wall of Omen's going to be good, for sure. God, we're just going to get hammered by Verdict. They put one card on top, so this Verdict's going to hurt. I'm just talking about the emblem. Elliot, the emblem's like annoying enough on its own. So, how do I do this? Yeah, that's annoying. Glad we brought in Verdian Corruptor. Maybe I'll have the Nature's Claim then next next match.
Oh, this wall is so annoying. <laughs> At least I'm going to be able to flip Jace next turn, pr providing it lives. And it's going to give me gas to, like, fight through the wall. Or I might just, like, I don't know, maybe I'll just try to go over the top and, like, try to emblem the Jace. They definitely shouldn't do that. That would be disgusting. Okay. I think I'm gonna main phase this. And get in there. We have vines to protect ourselves. Do I leave out Apostle? Do I take, leave Apostle's Blessing in? Yes, because that's the best one. Whoa! I just got 100, what? I just got 100 play points? So I just added nowhere? Huh. Spell pierce that. My opponent doesn't have to block here. They just become immense kills them. They'd be pretty, be pretty gutsy not to block. Depending on what I draw next turn. I might be able to kill them through mm, might be able to kill them like through a piece of interaction if I draw another plus four plus four. Cause they just go like plus four plus four, tick Jace down, plus four plus four, then hold up vines and they need like removal spell plus X or like counter spell. Every time I cast a spell, they mill five. Turn Jace to the right hand. Tap. Okay. This smells like a supreme verdict waiting to happen. But. Expertly left that land in my hand to loot away. From bottom, bottom. If they go for something here, I'm gonna list, I'm just gonna vine with kicker and then tick down and try to get this might and kill him. Basically, if my opponent makes a move, I'm gonna try and kill him. I guess I'll ditch the fetch land. I guess I can just tick Jace down. And might. Yeah, I play I play plenty of decks. You can look at my YouTube channel, and I have a I have a uh, archive of all the decks I play on stream.
And I think I'm just going to crack for five and shock myself. I have one more piece of interaction I would have gone for. But, like, on my list, what is this? You can find it linked below in the stream. So this is okay, because even if my opponent attacks Jace, unless they take the Pulse of Marasa, then I can get the Jace back. Currently on my list, I have Dredge, Black Red Hollow one, Titan Shift, but I might take that one out because it's not very much fun to watch. I want to play Mardu Pyro and Black Green Rock, but I might... I might throw in some uh, some standard. Might I might brew some standard cards, standard decks here in a bit. Fines. Another elf. Gideon. That's annoying. Intense game. Weird that we both mold to five in this game. This Jace has been really good. I'm gonna run out one ink moth. Make my opponent think twice before they. Where they just attack willy nilly. They almost got colonnade up, which is going to be pretty annoying. Though we're going to get some mileage out of this Pulse Marasa, I think. We're just kind of like praying. Papa Gids. Yeah, we're we're in some trouble now. We're going to attack Gideon with everything. Then I'll just tick up on this. Alright, that's nice. I don't really understand that block. I guess they just kill it, which is... And then we can block. If our opponent gets, like, really frisky, we can block these Gideons. I think my opponents, like, tighten their grip on this match, though. I would be very surprised if I could win this. Opponent is slowly killing me.
My opponent is definitely playing at a snail's pace. But I guess we're not too... We're, turn, we're 10 turns in, so that's apt to happen. I guess I should have played one more creature. Block this game. Yeah, I definitely should have played one more creature. Why is he swinging with that game instead of down ticking him? You mean like he should have gone attacked with this one, down ticked with this one? Grant, is that what you're saying? So we're gonna play Noble Hierarch. I can tick down, recur my Ink Moth Nexus, play Glistener Elf. Or is there like a reasonable line that my Jace actually wins me this game? I don't think it's going to. Think destroy a tap creature. If Moth can't deal damage, then you literally can't kill him. Yeah, that would have been that would have been much better. I agree. Our opponent just has not found a wrath like this entire game. Now the question is, this is gonna get cryptic. Mind Break Trap? Only cast one spell, right? This shouldn't counter this. Oh, they, they full retail it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They full retail it. Full retail Mind Break Trap. Full retail Mind Break Trap. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever seen a Mind Break Trap cost cast for full retail value. So I'm going to look to jump with this Blighted Agent. And then, like, I don't really know after that. Are you just going to swing with the click? Yeah. This is a Wrath. I don't understand why my opponent didn't wrath, crack, crack. But, alas, that is fine. All right. Um, so I kind of want to bring these nature's claims in now. And I think I'm going to trim on vines because they're just not, they're not really attacking me on like, they're not like hitting my creatures with like, much removals, or not much removal, I mean much targeted removal. It's more, I guess it just counters Gideon. I don't know. I kind of want more nature's claims though. If they're going to have Ruined Halo, they'll probably have Ruined Halo, Detention Sphere, and Search for his Kanta. But they might board out searches. I'm not sure. I mean, Dismember seems okay if they're bringing in clicks. But I don't really know what else to cut. Maybe I could bring like a Miser's Dismember. I don't really know. Because I'm, I'm concerned that he's going to bring in Graveyard Hate after seeing Baby Jace and this Pulsamarasa. Because Baby Jace was pretty good there, and the Pulse was good as well. So, 
I'm a little concerned about playing into graveyard hate. I thought Pulse was pretty good. Tom says he brings Pulse in in any, in any grindy matchup. Just because it recurs creatures. For three mana, which is a lot, but like... I mean, it's probably better. Like, we haven't seen... We've only seen one targeted spell besides Gideon, I guess. In all the games. I definitely want the Viridian Corruptors. Maybe the Dismembers, like... This river kills Gideon, but like by that time I'm probably in trouble. I guess I might as well have a protection spell over that. Distortion strike is probably not any good. I just don't want too many of these. But I guess worse comes to worse, they just pump them. My opponent's deck's clunky. I don't really know. I think this is like maybe. Uh, we got a mulligan this, I think. Nothing before turn three. Keep this. Put that on the bottom. And I'm going to play Elf. I think we can get away with this because there's a chance that my opponent, like, passed me in the early game also. Which, like... Isn't necessarily great for them, but come on, in. come on, land. Nope. I think I'm gonna just cash this in. Because we have Spell Pierce. I would have seven them if I didn't have Spell Pierce. Well, now we got to Spell Pierce that. I guess actually I can go like this. This is not the card that I want to Major's Claim. I really don't want to just... Might. Because like, if my opponent lands a Gideon, I'm probably dead. But, like, this is the last turn that I'm going to have that luxury. The problem is if we five them and they play Gideon, we can't win. I realize that, but... I feel like I might as well try to, like, make my cards do something, and Spell Pierce will do something for probably one more turn. And if I draw another piece of um, interaction, if I draw one more land, then I can like kind of go a little more all in, or I can like work with the chase more. I really don't want to just put the shield down. My opponent has seven cards in the end. Because if my opponent like taps out for Gideon here, and I draw like a mutagenic growth, then we're good. That's pretty much where we are. But the green source doesn't even do it, I guess. I'm just hoping to be able to cash in this spell pierce. I'm going to be much more likely to go for something if our opponent plays, if we get like uh, another land here. I should move this over. Oh. 
Oh, the front the front half of vines is protection, not um, it's just protection, not plus four plus four. Yeah, I thought that too for a second. Um. So I get verdicted next turn. It is not Gary. We're 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 switching things up a little bit. I got a whole list of decks I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Infect today, Dredge in my next stream, then Hollowed One. And I might play Titan Shift, but like that seems like a pretty much a snooze fest to watch, so I might not do that. They don't want to play Marvel Pyromancer, they don't want to play the Rock, and I might schedule I might like shuffle in a little bit of uh, standard map. You're gonna have to pay me to play slivers. all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Well, at least we need to play Jace next turn. Come on, don't have anything. Okay. What'd you play? What were you playing, Gary? Hey man, a guy can help. Glimmer? So they have Gear Hulk in their deck? I love Torrential Gear Hulk. I long for like a torrential gear hulk deck to be good in standard. Cause like I think I would actually play that. You played Hand of Gods? Or Hand of the Gods. I've seen you stream that deck from time to time. I'm just playing like Tom 75 Grant. I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, Tom won an IQ with this deck about, I don't know, two, about a month ago. So, figured I would give this a whirl. Playing Noble Hierarch, so you get those Hierarch beats on. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see that being his his plan. Or lack of planning, I guess. I know Tom said that he just pretty much threw together a list that he saw on the internet and just went for it. I'm ready to get this Noble Hire because absolutely bitch slapped by a Torrential Gear Hulk. Or the Colonnade. Yeah, dude, I'll race. I'll race. 
You just watch. We're going to get something. We're going to get something with this spell singer. Just kidding. I think, I think we're good. I think we are good here. Field of Ruin is sweet. I was really happy when I, I played, when I played like, when I played Blue White, the, the cards that like, even though I didn't do very well in that league, the cards that impressed me the most were like Field of Ruin and Search for Content. I'm gonna go get some drink. Should we call Tom TIT now instead of TBT? He's playing Impact. <laughs> yep. These burn these spells deal eight damage. Excited for the pre release crap? That makes sense. <sighs> Come on. There's no one in the queues. I guess I can plug. Sponsors here. So, well, we just got paired. Just kidding. I forgot my um, second screen thing. <laughs> well, that's good. I hope that I hope that there's some kind of like shake up. Did I just play this guy? No, I've just played two beat two Ds. I'm gonna ship this. And I'll keep this hand. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna lead on the Nexus in case we get um discard spelled so that I can at least crack in for one. I might stream some limited on uh we're gonna play another Grixis Shadow deck. I think it's one armor. It just it's literally card for card what Tom was doing there. The stream deckers updated or accurate, right? So, I 
kind of just want to crack in. That can't be right to do. Yeah. I mean, Moto's been like losing its mind all day. All week, I guess. I guess all program history. We're going to get like real technical. What's going on, the flame? Flooded Strand. Playing Esper Shadow? So maybe I need to play with, against Snapcaster Mage and Lingering Souls? That's exciting. I don't think I can attack with a Sink Moth and do open mana. Send my Dryad Arbor out to the lands. Larger than life. It does give Trample. Maybe I should just like no balls this guy. Yeah, I mean, and two mana for plus four plus four isn't bad. One of the problems, I guess, is that the card that like decks you want lingering souls against, you probably don't want to. I should turn off my auto yields. Oh come on. Okay. If decks you want lingering souls against, tapping out for two on your main phase or. Having two mana on your main phase might be a little rough. But the play pattern most people have when they play Lingering Souls, they usually just tap out for it. Like, nobody plays, like, Lingering Souls plus defense. Oh, there he is. Look at that little cutie. I bet he's got a friend to follow. Nope. All right. I'm losing this race so hard. I'm going to attack with this, and if my opponent gets really aggressive, then I'm just going to try to get him with the Dryad Arbor. Like, I'll defend this and step here. Tessie Gray. Okay. So now I got Counterspell plus Fatal Push Up, which is sweet. Six go to 11. Six plus four is 10. I don't really see how we get out of this one. I can't crack that. So do we just go on the auto damage route? Because I can seven my opponent. Five. The Ink Moth kind of messes things up. But in order for me to do that, my opponent would need to have... I mean, are we, are we actually going to win any other way? Like, if I don't attack... You're on the old block train. We're just going to, like, hope a lot of things go right here. We need to have them not kill. 
Dryad Arbor's playing defense. That's why I thought maybe attacking with a Dryad Arbor was the right thing to do. You do say that is that is a fact. He put a card on the bottom. Okay. Should we block this here, Death Shadow? We draw a land. We draw a land. We're we're kind of doing it. And Beer Man, how you doing? Boom, boom. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Our opponent, our opponent doesn't have a kill spell, or they would have used it. What kills us is stubborn denial. I don't know if I sequence this wrong or not. Stub. Uh, nine on the dot. Right? Yeah. I wonder if there was that one not sneaking in for that one point of damage got me there. in the beginning game. That one, that one where I didn't pull the trigger got me. Probably, I'm probably playing, maybe I'm playing the deck too passively. I got wrecked at the IQ. I went, I went 0-2, dropped out of it. It was not a good day for the home team, for sure. So I tend to kind of like cutting... Well, I had to like, I had to see it, you know? So he says he likes the Jaces and the grindy games. I want all the protection spells. They could easily, I probably want Distortion Strike because they have Lingering Souls, now that I think about it. They could easily have like Graveyard Hate, but they might not bring it in until game two. So I probably should leave to become immenses. Um, I would assume that the weakest pump spells are probably Might of Alcarosa, because I have to do that on my main phase in order for it to work. Dismembers kill Tassigers, but maybe I should just like not worry about that. I don't really want to dump anything else, though. Legacy Belcher, YOLO. Yeah, but the, the IQ wasn't all bad. Both, I'm gonna cut these dismembers. We're, we're just linear it up. The IQ wasn't all bad. Well, not if they play Spellbomb. Like, Spellbomb's usually their, Spellbomb or Surgical is their graveyard hate. And, like, Surgical's not very good, but Spellbomb's pretty good. In terms of graveyard hate. I'm gonna keep this because we have a Shaper's Sanctuary. Hand's not very good, but this card is very good going wrong. But the IQ wasn't too bad because even though I did get absolutely stomped, I got to uh, I got to go have dinner with uh, go have lunch with my friends. I hadn't seen Tom in a while, so I was pretty excited about that. I played against Boggles and played against. Black Green Rock. I drew pretty abysmally against Black Green Rock, but I also made a pretty sketchy mulligan decision in game two that cost me the game. Like, I kept a one-lander that had all one and two drop spells, but it was a one-lander. So, I mean, you probably know how that worked out. No, I, I have to work, and Tom has to work as well, so we are not going to make it to Philly. That's why Johnny's on... Uh, Coffee's team. 
We went to Joe Theismann's. Uh, I probably should have gotten basic. Excuse me. I probably should have got a basic there. But no, because I'm going to want to have blue at some point, and I want to save another fetch land. So, like, one gets green, one gets blue. It doesn't really matter. Um, I had a really nice burger at Joe Theismann's um, restaurant here in Alexandria, which is pretty cool. I had the break a leg lager, which was nice. So he takes Jace. We don't really have anything going on. But hopefully this, sa this Shaper Sanctuary gives us something going along. I know every time I've been playing Death Shadow and I've lost, in fact, it's been mainly because of this card. Which, that's a really surprising you took that. Yeah, the Joe Theismann. So I think I'm just going to play this and take my two for one as opposed to leaving it in my hand and having it get thought seized again. Because I guess they probably have more thought, more more removal spells in their deck than they have thought seizes after sideboard. Because I want to tap it for green every time. Green, 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 green. What is this? Is this brutal? Oh, that's brutal. I would like to draw a card. All right, we need to not draw any more lands. I wonder how long until we get on Dry at Arbor Beat Down. Like, I wonder when we pull that trigger. Dude, if one is good, two is even worse. I'm probably going to leave this fetch land in my hand to be able to fight around the early on of the veil. Let's cycle the street, Wraith. Lingering Souls. Okay. Um, I don't think so. I think I'm going to... I might stream some pre-release. Because the release is this weekend. Play some limited. I don't play a lot of limited. So. I kind of... That's probably one of my goals. I want to get better at playing limited. Because I'm not very good at that. Should just race this Death Shadow. Because that always works. Oh yeah, you're back up in the area, aren't you, Mike? <laughs> You've been hanging around with Borelli too much. Just mess up all my cards. Ugh. Can't even shuffle right. But neither can Josh out of Layton, and he's in the Hall of Fame. So maybe this maybe this bodes well for me. Nasty Germasty, you don't say. I don't think this is gonna go very well. At least I can threaten to like eat the death shadow and if my opponent like does anything to mess with that i'm gonna draw a million cards so you know there's that nice i'm 100 percent gonna go for oh i should actually play my play my land out so if i draw another one Yeah, dude, that's Shaper's Roan right there. You watch, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this Death Shadow. And if I don't eat this Death Shadow, I'm gonna draw like four million cards. 
don't think I'm gonna eat this Death Shadow anymore. It's nine. Thought Scour me. So like, become immense. We left those in, become immense, and we're we're in good shape. Come on, give me become immense. This has not been this has not been very good. This has not been a super great. Yes, that would have been right. Yep. So we're going to chump and then be permanently put in the abyss. Or my opponent can make their shadow. Yeah, that does it. Alright, we'll play the last one out here for science. Hey man, if we drew Become Events, I think we had a shot. This is like the first time I've ever played at 1 and 3 in a league. Most times just over it. It's never zero. So you're saying there's a chance? Yo, I hit follower goal number 700 today, so even though there's not too, too many people here today, thank you very much. It's another milestone up there. I'll be able to apply for a couple more sponsorships when I hit 1,000, so maybe I'll be able to play all of the modern decks or be able to delve a little further into Legacy or something like that. I might do a stream tomorrow morning, depending on, so depending on when I get out of work tonight and how much I sleep. I might stream tomorrow. Because I have to work. I set my pumps at like 7, which means they'll be done at like 2 tonight. Then I get back to the office probably around 4. Realistically sleep until like 9. And then go do it again. So, I don't know. Yeah, they gotta ship this. I don't think the Jace is good enough on its own. Alright, we'll keep this. One, two, three. God, if we just. No, I don't think we can actually. I think this match. This deck has like super polarizing matchups. To what I've seen, I think part of that's probably because like I don't really, I'm pretty new with it. I mean, it's, that could be like, you know, partially my fault. But I've felt like the matchups are either like an absolute joke, or we're playing against. What? What is this? You got to be kidding me. You're playing Death Shadow, and this is what you're doing, man. You're killing me, Smalls. My opponent's hand is probably really weak. I might have even, like, I'm assuming they have a Traverse in their hand. I might have even Traversed, bottled myself and Traversed if I didn't like it. Let's fetch a green source. Probably just a green here. Get in there for one. Just get gut shotted and, like, just game over. Yo, the flame. Did I show you the sweet stuff that my wife got me for Christmas? What? 
is happening. I'm perplexed. I'll show it to you in a second. It's pretty roundtastic. Flash and a dude, or maybe they're gonna try to give flashback to their mistress bubble. I should just fetch and tap land here. You ready for this? I would have this like so much more done if I had brought home my dude. My wife got me this for Christmas, man. Just like the best gift of all time. I was gonna get Moon. God, Blood Moon would be such a beating. Yeah, I'm totally gonna get Moon. Oh, maybe not. The funniest thing about all of this was when she got me this is that she um, she only showed me three of them and she was like because she knows that like you play four of everything so this is just like a rug delirium deck maybe they're playing like Kiki Jiki and Splinter Twin in it or not Splinter Twin but um, what was I going to say she only she got me three of them and uh, she got she only got me three to start. So I told her, but she only got me three, and she was like, "Oh, I can only find three, you know." And the fourth one was in another gift. She was just like picking on me because she knew that uh, that I wanted more than that. Like she knows she knows that like you play four whenever you do this stuff. So I just gonna like groundswell this nerd for my old blighted agent. Yeah, I think we're just going to, like, because even if they remand this, then I get in for five points. What happened? Oh, my, I thought my computer just flashed there. Further proof that conservatives are hilarious. I'm confused. What do you mean the conservatives are hilarious? How you doing, Archmage? Oh no, which one's the one that was summoning sick? No! Alright, I'm gonna guess. God damn it. You can right click and see it? What does it say on it? Will it say that while it's not a creature? I didn't know that. Oh, you can't even tap it? God, that's hilarious. It will tell you? Okay, I didn't know that. That's how that worked. I just went for the 50-50. They will? Okay. This is getting cryptic. I was gonna do counter bounce. Alright. I could have vines that, which seems marginal. 
So now next turn I right click it. Maybe they were maybe they did it like that because they wanted me to make the same mistake next turn. Magus of the Moon. God damn it. <sighs> oh, we drew Jace too. Oh, gross! I got one dismember in my deck to deal with that thing. God, I totally had not beat to that turn. I'm pretty sure. Sweet. All right. So we're playing against rug stuff. I'm going to bring in my nature's claims and I'm going to bring in my um, bring in nature's claims and probably bring in Viridian Corruptors as well. So I'm assuming they're going to have like shackles slash blood moon. Definitely bring in this dismember. So I don't know if I'm supposed to leave these Jaces in if they have a lot of removal or leave, you know what I mean? Or just like, like, do you ever board Jace out? Like, is this just supposed to be in the deck because it taxes, like it makes my, it stretches my opponent's removal thin? I just, I don't know. Um, I think Might's probably the worst pump spell. Uh, probably want the distortion strike. Probably want the growths. I don't know if I want Shaper's Sanctuary or not. I think I want all the cheap. I want all the cheap protection spells because, like, especially with, with not playing Fatal Push, it's just a counter spell. I probably can cut one of these if we're gonna cut some become immenses and like bring in some. Like these are two permanents. So we cut like a couple cards and make a graveyard larger. Besides that. I don't know if I should bring these in or not. Protection is woven into every vine and branch. Let me message my opponent, make sure. I, think I'm, I, kind of, I really want to make room for this Dispel. Because like if they're playing Cryptic Command, Dispel seems like a, a card that would be really nice to have. Let me cut one more of these. Let's what, what is up with this? What is up with that server message that I keep getting? All right, we have an Elf. I think I'm going to get the elf. <laughs> At least my opponent's cool about it. The misclick there. I should have played the breeding pool tap because it's going to get island anyways. I guess like a red deck with a lot of removal, I think I'm going to play the Elf on two. I can protect it. Yeah, I definitely should have just gotten a tap land. I'm going to sell you to close MTGO, re reopen it to update. Okay. Thanks for the info. I hope my opponent doesn't have like Tom Glyph. But it would be hard to assume they don't. If they're playing like Bobble in their rug deck, 
seems like Tom of Life is where you want to be. That's a nice draw. Let's go get both our basics. Here you go, Elf Man. I can kill my opponent next turn. If they get cute and try to like kill this on the, the main phase. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for it, because they can just flash in a Snapcaster. Like, I, I think I can beat any removal spells from them, but they can just, like, flash in Snapcaster and block. I am going to just Groundswell this, though. Oh, this is actually lethal for my opponent if this works out the way that I want to. No second bolt. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even need Teamer Battle Rage. Jace is slow in the draw. Jace also seems like kind of worse, especially considering like they have Huntmaster to go wide. So they can actually like attack it decently well. Yeah, I think we're gonna go like that. <coughs> Bring in the spell skite. Peter. Play Noble on one. Then probably double, then play another Noble, and then get electrolyzed, and then pack it in. Everybody that's watching today is having a good, good Wednesday. It's hump day. It's the middle of the week. Traverse for basic. Well, now our noble hierarchs not going to be bolted. The question is, do I use the mutagenic growth to save the hierarch? The man, the myth, the legend of the Tarmoloif. So next turn we can actually three, three, four. Yeah. Because next turn we just three, five, seven landfall. Make sure your second deck is this. Oh, yeah, you're talking about like play the card, yeah. Now let's see if we can like not misclick here. Noble Hierarchs in. Yep. All right. Okay, so right click.
Newly controlled. Okay. Add. <laughs> the Death Shadow doesn't know. They don't know. No, I don't speak. Yeah. Pump. Pump. Counter panel hidden people left. Infects your favorite deck? Well, nice. Nice. In fact, it's it's a good deck. So now we just get in here for seven. And then we ground swell. Hopefully, we don't have like a dispel. That's the that's what gets us. Dispel gets us. Yeah, that's okay. We're gonna get to do it all again next turn. Then we even got the Blighted Agent for backup. I guess what really messed with us, my opponent's got like Pyroplasm. That could be pretty bad. Pyroplasm's still a two turn clock, but I lose my mana advantage. Dude, we're just, we're playing around Blood Moon. We're playing around the Dalkin Shackles, man. Nice cap, okay. <laughs> God, I swear to God, if this is a Magus of the Moon, oh, baby Jace, a little, little cute Jace. So we draw a pump spell. I attack with both, right? I, I win if they I win if they don't have if they have lightning bolt and I don't win. So the question is, I guess I just make him have light it'd be their second bolt. Then we can play lighted agent after. All right, we got it. We concede to make sure our opponent uh, can get in there. But let me go back to this deck here. So I think this deck's cool. Um, I do think I do think it needs. Yeah, I do think that it needs. Dude, Mike, you know how you get this emote here? You have to join the Roan Squad, and then you can emote. So I think this deck's pretty good. I think I kind of want access to more cards like this. Probably maybe in the 75. I don't know. I think I want a fourth one of these. I like this card a lot. And then maybe an island also. But I guess there's only one, two. There's only six, seven, eleven. Carrying call creature with two two brings bring back they deal damage each. Huh. It's an instant. Oh, it's like an EOT. Oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, I like this deck. I might play this deck some more.
It wasn't Giggles. It was Billy. It was Billy before Giggles. This is talking like Mike. This is before your time at Gamer Craze. This is this is you know way before you young in there. Plus the only thing that I ripped off from Giggles is just like his money while cubing. So, all right. I appreciate everybody that showed up and hung out today. If you guys like the videos, please uh, hit the follow button. If you'd like to catch all the streaming you missed, my YouTube video is below. Links below. I will be streaming tomorrow, and I'm either going to play Hollowed One or Dredge. I don't really know. I'll make that decision when I wake up tomorrow. So, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and take it easy.